Hello folks, today we're playing 60 Seconds Reatomized. This is a remastered version of the original game that came out a few years ago, the one where you sit in a nuclear bunker and stories happen, you have to make decisions and stuff like that. It's coming out on Steam on the 25th of July, anyone who has the original will get a free copy of this. And it's got loads of new stuff like um, a new um, survival challenge mode um, to go alongside the running around the house um, challenges. Uh, there's a storyline that's a that spans multiple playthroughs, a new relationship system between the people who are in the bunker, unlockable visual content, a new achievements, better graphics and 4K support, a new ways to win, and stuff like that. Uh, right, so let's get going with one of the challenges. Here we go. Do, do, do. We don't want to do the scavenge ones. Here we go. So there's a bunch of them at the moment. they will maybe de our DLC later on. Who knows? Uh, Scouts Honor, Responsible Parenting, Survival of the Fittest, A Woman and Her Dog, Final Countdown. And they all have we. Oh my god. Survive for 99 days. And you get a, um, to reward, oh, as a reward, you get a Soviet skin for one of those things. Don't want that one. Let's try this one. Survive for 50 days. Don't lose the dog. Expeditions disabled. Uh, this one. Send out seven successful expeditions to locate the supply cache. Or survive for 50 days, keep both children alive. Children cannot go on expeditions. Uh, scouts honor, keep Timmy alive until rescue comes. Get rescued by the military or ally with the wastelanders. And disabling stuff like that. Hmm. Let's go for this one. Survive for 50 days. Keep both children alive. Right, here we go, lads. Here we bloody go. Do, do, do. Dare one. So we've got all the people this time. It's a nice face, well supplied. We all made it, even the children, especially the children. We must protect them from the horrors of the wasteland. They will be provided for and won't have to risk their necks for a can of soup. Uh, this has nothing to do with the fact that the families with two or more children will be rescued first. Nope, just our values. Totally not com connected to the army radio broadcast earlier. Uh, no, absolutely no weapons or sharp objects are permitted inside the shelter. The children might accidentally hurt themselves. You look away for one second, and suddenly your child's, child falls headfirst onto an axe. We'd rather avoid accidents like that. Rescue team comes in 50 days, according to the military broadcast. We'll just have to survive until then. With only two explorers and no weapons, it's not going to be easy. Well, we're not going to give any supplies out today. If you've never seen this game before, it's about survival there. Whoever designed this fallout shelter was a genius, but we really can't tell if that green stuff dripping from the pipe is an included feature. We should probably try doing something about it. Alright, well, this is the only thing that we have. Uh, we don't have a gas mask or a suitcase, but we do have the scout handbook, so let's put that to use. If you don't have any of those, you're more at risk of things going wrong. Dare to! Uh, hey, problem solved. No leak, no mess. Back to our tidy little shelter. Uh, so everyone seems fine. So we don't need to really give them any supplies. Our neighbourhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are a big risk to our health right now. Well, we're going to have to do it. Uh, let's send out dead, all deadly poos. Well, we can't do it just yet. We just have to prepare for it first. Are uh, we going crazy or this entire shelter is crawling with little insects or worse? It's worse! They're spiders! And not some miniature ones, but huge, furry and very creepy beasts. We've got to do something about them. We're giving it plenty, aren't I? <laughs> anyway, let's use bug spray because that's what we've got. Dare three. Poke, 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 poke. If there is one thing that can drive spiders away and stop us climbing up the furniture, it's the bug killing spray. We eradicated eradicated 404 of these little bastards. Technical joke there for the lads. We even found a water bottle stashed in the corner. It was a good day, so we've lost the bug spray but gained a water. Yeah, it looks like everyone now needs a drink. Don't we all? Boop, boop, boop. I, I, I miss booped. Boop, there we go. This is a good day to go outside, stretch a bit, get some t fresh toxic air. Let's send out Deddy Poos. Now we can do that. And he's off. Oh, new music. Do, 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 do. Turn to the left of the surface. Everyone is fine. No need to give anyone anything. Every new smell attacks our noses in this little shelter instantly. There isn't much we can miss. So when a single brick fell out of the wall, revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench. 
Hmm. I guess so. Day five. We looked into the hole, fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, or other mutated and sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat who was trying to break into a can of soup. So we've got some soup, and everyone seems to be... Everyone's morale is okay, and no one needs feeding. Let's just skip... In fact, let's have a look at this tab. So, survive for 50 days, keep both children alive until rescue comes. So there's your, sh uh, your current goals. Uh, we stumble across a weird signal uh, when changing radio frequencies. We're pretty sure that behind layers of terrible static and screams we could hear a voice. A voice speaking in a foreign language. Oh no! What if it's the Soviets? We should probably listen to it. But what about the children? No, no, no. It might be propaganda. Proper propaganda at that. None of your nonsense. There's it. We decided to protect our delicate American ears and turn off the radio. There has to be some water left. Water. Okay, so Dolores needs food and water. Timmy just wants water. And you, Mary Jane wants water as well. So it's water all around, plus Dolores should get some food. Alright. Let's be generous. There it goes again! Noises! Weird noises all the time! Are they coming from the pipes? Is it something behind the door? We don't know. Let's have a relax. We have a pack of cards, apparently. Which is rather lucky. So, oh, by the way, if you haven't, if you have never seen this game before, and um, the supplies that you get initially come from running around the house, grabbing things from the house in, this, in the, uh, the scavenging mode, which we haven't actually seen in this video. So, if you haven't, if, if you do want to see that, go and check out not anyone else's video, my video from four years ago. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Day seven, having some fun made us forget about what was it again? Oh, Timmy and Mary Jane now starting to get peckish. We don't have to feed them now. We can hang them on the wire, but yeah. Today we've met a bunch of people dressed in what looked like Halloween doctor outfits. They claim to be a field hospital, moving from place to place and attempting to help those hurt by the hazards of the wasteland. So they just want some, well, they just want some, a water bottle. It feels like they're taking the piss, but I'm going to be a good soldier, a good boy scout, a good American, a good lad, a good boy. After... A, bo a bottle of relatively clean water is the closest we'll ever get to hydrogen peroxide. The guests were grateful anyway. So we've lost a water. Uh, that seems bad. However, that might come back to haunt us in a good way, I guess. If we're lucky. In a future day. Nobody's getting nout. Uh, we didn't think we'd get the chance to increase our food supply by simply playing a card game, but that's what we, offered. we were offered by a man who knocked at our door. Two cans of food. We win! We get his two cans, we lose, we give him our two cans. Uh, two cans. Um, bit of a risk, this. Danger is my middle name. I mean, we've also got plenty of soup. This could be a risk. Oh! No! Damn it, that man must have cheated, we lost. Oh, bugger. <laughs> oh, but Ted has returned. The sweet, sweet prospect of government aid. Hey, we're no commies, but centrally planned. Help during the apocalypse is something we're really looking forward to. Our expedition exited this exit to the shelter right before the air drops started falling out of the sky. One of the food drops broke in midair and now it's raining soup. Lucky for us, a few cans have survived. <laughs> easy go, easy come. Yeah, we've literally no zero sum game did there. I wondered why there were four cans of soup on the thing, but yeah. Right, so Ted needs medical attention, also needs food. Oh god, hang on. Everyone else needs water. We don't have any medical supplies. Ted will have to hang on for a while. Our neighbourhood is still highly reactive. Radioactive. Trips to the surface of a big... Yeah, whatever. Yes. I think it's Dolores' time. How about that lake we've been going to the f for the past few years? It would be so good to find ourselves there far away from this madness. So, no choices to make there. Just a little local colour. So, we've got fifth of the way through this. Ted's looking a bit gammy. The kids have survived, though. Only 40 more days and we can get out of this mess. Can't wait. Can't wait until we have actual knives and other sharp objects around again. Right, so... Food for Ted. Water for Ted. Hmm. Right, expedition prepared. I, I, I worry about Ted. I do worry. 
He may spontaneously recover, or he may find a first aid kit, especially if Dolores is out and about. Dolores is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she makes it back safe and sound. Ted's... Ted still needs, eat, needs to eat. Ted, Mary Jane... Hmm. We're really running out of water now, aren't we? This is a joyful time in the Sea of Grief. It's Timmy's birthday! So he can get... A Boy Scout manual. That oh, suits. Someone's coughing. I think Ted might be on the way out. Oh, he's still, he's still with us. We don't know if Timmy's ever going to be a Boy Scout after the apocalypse, but this Scout handbook is a deadly spider-killing weapon in his capable hands. He's having fun! Yeah, Ted's still a bit sick. Timmy needs food. Mary Jane needs drink. I don't have to follow those instructions, but it seems to do well for me. What's that sound? Oh no, something or someone is below us. How about using that manhole? Alright, let's torch it. Or flashlight it, if you're American, I guess. Otherwise, torching it would set fire to it, which would also be fun. If we didn't have that flashlight, we'd probably be a meal for something. We're not sure, but its eyes looked very reptilian. Was that a dinosaur? A talking cat? No. So we need... Okay, Ted needs water. Timmy needs water. Dear, we're going down the water very quickly. Timmy is not doing great. It would it'd be good to talk to him to cheer him up. He just had a birthday. What a selfish prick. Do, 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 do. Oh, Ted's cured. Even a word or two may be enough to brighten someone's mood. Timmy seems to be better now. Nothing's happened. This is a this is a good day. Don't need to give him any food. We know very little about what's going on outside. A radio could help. Thankfully, we have one. Radio is always a bugger to get normally. Yeah, like the first step in getting out of the game, or winning the game in, in one way. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And great news! The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. So, everyone... Oh no. Mary Jane needs water and food. And Ted kind of like needs food. Uh, I'm going to hang you... Oh, actually, no, you're, you're the kid, aren't you? So you, you do need to survive. We decided to peek outside for just a minute to see if the stir around the corner was still standing. But we heard a growl in the darkness and a pair of ferocious eyes appeared. Flashlight. Thank God we got that flashlight. Day 16! We decided to check out what's coming for us with our flashlight. Get what? Get... Guess what? It was a dog! Uh, it's gone again. Alright. So Ted needs water. Oh dear. Oh, Timmy. Oh, I haven't even given Timmy any stuff, have I? Right, so Timmy gets food and water. Oop. Ted gets nothing, because we've got no water. Oh dear. We have plenty of distant relatives, but none of them mean as much to us as Auntie Ada. She lives in the country, so there's a good chance she's still configuring a cow counting machine. What? And not worrying about nukes raining down on her hen house. Too bad we don't have a photo of her. Or do we? Let's check the book. Poke, 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 poke. Poke, 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 poke. Poke. We knew it! We found the photograph between two pages of our scout handbook. So Ted looks in like... Ted really needs a drink. We need water. We have none. Open in the name of freedom! Came a shout from outside our door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it as a group of people, probably armed. What can possibly go... Give us water. Give us some water. Give us some water. Poke. She's back! And, we're, and Ted's not dead. <gasps> We've got water. We regretted opening the door the minute we saw who was standing on the other side. Dark faces, rifles, and determined looks of a band of teenagers. We're doomed, we thought. Then out of the blue, one of the masters if we're with the Reds. We've never supported the Red Sox, so we confidently said that we weren't. <laughs> the tension dropped immediately, and these nice young people gave us two bottles of water. Nice. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. Oh, here we go. A few days before the blast, Timmy got into a fight with a kid named Ethan and beat him with a stick. We were supposed to visit Ethan's parents and talk about the incident, but we were a bit busy back then. 
Well, now we have all the time in the world, and it, although it looks like our friends weren't home, we still decided to pay them a visit. We were invited after all. These people were obsessed with tomato soup. We saw many cans in their own kitchen. Most of them were damaged and all the tomato goodness had leaked out, but some survived. Plus two soup. Behind the remains of their kitchen counter we found some bottled water. Plus two water. And we've got a checkers board. Holy shit. So now we need to give Ted a drink. So, drink for Ted, food for Dolores, water for Mary Jane, and Timmy's fine. So, so we've got water, food, water. Water, food, water. Got loads of stuff now. Timmy has always enjoyed running around like crazy and riding his bike. A compact shelter has little to offer. You can go for a short walk. No! I don't want to risk Timmy's life outside. I remember the mission. Day 19, we had to say no. What else could we do? It's dangerous and Tid's, Timmy's sad puppy eyes aren't enough to convince us. And no, chewing your own foot is not a convincing argument either. Ooh. Dolores... Oh, Dolores didn't get anything. Or maybe she just, did, just didn't have enough last time. So this time it's going to be... Well, Dolores... It wasn't in order, that's why. God damn it. Ted needs food. Timmy needs a drink. Oop. And Mary Jane's fine. We're not certain about the situation on the surface. A trip could be risky, but we could really use the supplies. Well, yeah. Mary Jane has been awful silent today. This is very unlike her. Let's talk to her. You never know. She might have important information. Poke, poke, poke! It's day 20. Nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over a hot beverage. We don't have the latter, but talking alone seems to do the trick. Yeah, 30, 30 days to go. Everyone... Oh, Timmy needs some food and Mary Jane also. Food. Hang on, which one's Mary Jane? <laughs> yes, yes, fine. I'm getting confused there. Enough sitting around, it's time to visit the surface. Send out Teddy Poos. Oh, if I forgot to give him some stuff to carry. Again. I'm not sure we actually have anything. We can take food and water, I guess. Ted left at the surface. Timmy's no longer hungry. Mary Jane just needs a little drinky poos. Barking at our doorstep could only mean one thing. Our dog is back! Yay! Right, give the dog some food. I discovered that in a previous playthrough. You can actually... There's a cat that might turn up, and you can pet it. It gives you an option to pet the cat. I'm not going to tell you whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. The dog was back to his former self in, in under an hour. We, they we don't know what they put in that soup, but man, that stuff is good. We decided the dog needs a name, and the right name for him was Pancake. Come here, Pancake, you're a good boy. Dog, 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 dog. Pancake stayed away for a while, but was gone again. No. Right, so Dolores needs water and food. Timmy needs a drink. Still got a reasonable amount of supplies, but hopefully Ted will bring something back. Day 23. You're almost halfway there. Pokey, 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 poke, poke. Oh dear, she's not looking too hot, is she? It's hard not to worry. Con <laughs> yeah. Um, Everyone's fine. Everyone's fine. Everyone's fine today. Oh, a stranger pushing a rusty wheelbarrow filled with all kinds of goods stopped by today. He claims he's a trader. So he wants warm water for stuffs. We have a torch. We have some cards. Bug spray would be nice. Everybody... Yeah, we... mm. Oh, hang on. No, we don't... We've actually got to give it to them, haven't we, for some water. Oh. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> I completely misread this. I do... I think we do need some water. Although... Mm. We do have some water, but... Just in case. Just in case. After making the trade, the man packed his things into the wheelbarrow and departed. Bandit activity. Oh dear. Poor old Ted, who's out on the expedition. Water for Mary Jane. and oh, Everything for Mary Jane. We can actually hover over them to actually give some indication. I didn't realise that. Nice. Mysterious sounds are coming from our radio, but they're hidden behind a ton of static. Alright. 
Remember, we're not in this case, in this playthrough, we're not actually trying to escape and trying to advance a story. We are just trying to survive or let, make our kids survive. So some of these, some of these decisions may need a bit more thought than normal. We managed to get a slightly cleaner signal after twisting some knobs. A female voice talked about being stranded. In space? She said something about her crew members going insane and eating all the soup. This could be a prank or just a crazy person. But we could only listen, so, yeah. Uh, water, water for everyone. Oh, Timmy needs food as well. Badly. Right, what? Mary Jane does not need anything. So let's do that. Mary Jane is fatigued. As we were about to start our book club discussion on the only book we've all read, the phone book, we were interrupted by rabid, or rapid knocking at the door. We found out it was a group of refugees. Yeah, have some water. Which seems we've now got plenty. <laughs> easy come, easy go, and all that. Poke, 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 poke. We're past halfway. Will we make it? Our visitors had problems finding enough words to express their gratitude. So we've given them water. Everyone appears to be fine. It seems whoever that was, they met their end. After a series of terrifying screams, the radio fell silent. Just before that, a distressed woman recited her full name and address. She used to live in our town. Should we take a hike? Let's go. Do, 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 do. Lads, lads, lads. The address led us to a small apartment. We found work uniforms, several pairs of rollerblades, and some supplies. The whole place smelled of coffee. We found a stack of papers and contracts with a company called Astro Citizen. Was this lady really sent into space? Who was she? We can ponder those questions while... Is, this, is that a reference to 60 parsecs? Uh, we can ponder these questions while eating the tomato soup. Yes. Right, Timmy's fatigued. Dolores. Food. Mary Jo. Jane. Drink. We are Mojo was rummaging through our belongings. He found a single plant seed. We have no idea what kind of seed this is, but maybe it's the start of something great. Oh, we, we need to use a bottle of water to plant it. Hmm. Not quite sure what we could actually grow. I have just used the last of our water, I think. <laughs> this better come to something. Yeah, we have to just wait. Ted has. Oh, shit. Ted has been outside far too long and still he hasn't returned. I think he's died. We've lost... Shit, we've lost Ted. We've lost the expedition. That's not good. So Mary Jane can have some food. But we've just given away... Oh, we've got a tiny bit of water. Oh, thank God for that. Right, hang on. So, Dolores... Yes, Dolores needs water. Who else wanted what? Oh, Timmy wanted it, but he can wait. Mary Jane needs... Food. Dolores needs to get out of here. We do need stuff. Oh, map. Pancake came back today very agitated about something. He really wanted to get out and follow us somewhere in the neighbourhood. Okay, let's take a map. Day 29. Pokey, pokey, poke, poke. A well-prepared hiker always takes a map. That's what we always say. Thanks to our trusty atlas, we were able to take a look at the devastation on our town and get back home and rather our shelter just in time for dinner. Pancake tagged along for a while, but left. So we've got some food. Again. But unfortunately, we haven't got any water. Timmy can eat. This is bad. This is very bad. The whole water thing has pretty much screwed us. Ted not coming back with anything has really just buggered us up. Looks like Dolores has to go. What can you, what can you take? Well, we've got soups. Lots of soups spare, so let's give her some soup. I'm not quite sure what good that'll be. I fear that Timmy's not going to survive much longer. I think we might just end up crashing out badly. Oh, look his, look his air. Has it been 30 days already? We're still holding on, but for how long? Well, 20 days, I guess. Yeah. Everyone wants water. We're doomed. A sudden urge to play an instrument takes over us to create beautiful sounds to be shared with the world around us. To sing and play and have cute mutated animals come to our feet and listen like a post-apocalyptic Snow White. Shall we? Let's play Let's play the um, funeral march as we all die of lack of water. <laughs> yes! 
I planted a seed, and the seed was shit bursting all over our face. God damn it. Be careful what you wish for. After a few minutes of playing, a small group of mutated cockroaches jumped out of the cracks in our walls and started moving to the rhythm of the song. They ran round in circles and shook their little antennae. It would be adorable if they weren't so disgusting. What are we supposed to do with them now? Anyway, Timmy's dead. We won't be getting out of here anytime soon. Lack of water drove Timmy insane. He opened the shelter door and ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. <sighs> 31 days that lasted. So that was just one minor mistake, because we just didn't need to plant that bloody seed with the last of our water, did we? That was textbook stupid. So we didn't quite get to day 50, but... Eh, we were doing okay. Day survived 31, water consumed, soup consumed. Successful expeditions, two of three. Well, yeah, poor old Ted. Yeah. Well, it's fun to be back in 60 seconds. Uh, I might try... If people watch this video, I will maybe... Maybe we'll try more more of the challenges, or even just like a vanilla game. Oh, this has all repaired itself now, which is nice. Hi, Ted. Hi, Dolores. Oh, there's no raccoon in the trash bin. Anyway, yep, so thanks for watching. Um, uh, do subscribe to the channel to be notified when new stuff goes live about all the latest and best new indie games around. And click the link on the, um, the screen for the, um, the page... Oh, blah. For the Patreon <laughs> and all that.